we bring in the great Mariano Rivera via the video call center from Westchester. Mariano, thanks so much for your time. We know you're a huge Knicks fan. What's a good luck charm for the lottery tomorrow night? Man, we, we've been praying. We've been praying that uh, the good Lord give us a, 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 that first pick and uh, we'll be okay with starting from there. But definitely we have to be on our knees and, and, and praying because, I mean, uh, we need to do something here. It's, I mean, I think prayer will definitely be part of this. There'll be all kinds of different things that people do. There's been a lot of anticipation for this, but it's not really the only most important date, actually, for the Knicks this offseason. As you know, free agency comes in July, and there's a lot of anticipation for that. But some of the talk about free agency is how tough it is to play in New York and also the attraction of winning in New York. No one knows that more than you do. If you had a chance to talk to an NBA free agent about what it's like to win in New York. What are some of the things you would tell them? Well, the first thing that I will say, there is nothing better than playing in New York and winning in New York. It's, 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 it's not only playing, but winning. You win in New York, man, you, you have the whole city for yourself. You know, you have the whole key. They give you a key for the whole <laughs> your state. You know, it's amazing, man. If there's no one else that I would rather play than New York. So those the, the if if any basketball player has to come here, my advice is, man, you're coming to the right town, you're coming to the right place because I mean we know all about winning, and uh, uh, we as a neat fan, we we we've been waiting, man, for too long, and uh, you know there are good players out there that want to come here, and uh, I hope they do, because it's nothing to better than winning in New York. Mariano, you had a nice event for your charity on uh, Saturday. Tell us about it and tell us overall what's going on with your foundation. Well, I mean, uh, we had a tremendous uh, event on Saturday. I mean, and, and what's going on with the foundation, you know, I mean, I have a good, good friends with the spinal wellness and uh, uh, people that want to help. But my, my desire and my, my dream is to build a learning center here in Westchester County, uh, basically in New York, I mean, in New Rochelle, to help those in need. Uh, I've been blessed that, uh, you know, I came from a small village called Puerto Caimito in Panama. And now that I have the opportunity, the blessing, the, uh, the platform that the Lord has given me to do more for others, um, I wanted to, to do that, you know, and therefore, uh, we created the, the, the Mariano Rivera Foundation in 1998 to help those in need. We we help a lot in uh, school education, uh, give a lot of scholarship. But my dream is to build a learning center where we can have uh, classrooms, when we have uh, uh, computer rooms, and uh, kitchen, full kitchen, so I can feed those kids uh, hungry, and then a uh, basketball court that. Uh, they can do some sport. So, I mean, that's what I definitely wanted to do. And taking this opportunity uh, of the Hall of Fame year so we can raise that fund to help many people. I had the opportunity to be out at your golf outing a couple of years ago. I know the great work that the Mariano Rivera Foundation does. I know how much it means to you personally as well. Also know how much the Yankees certainly mean to you. And I know you keep up with them on a daily basis. So what, are you, what is your reaction to the success they're having this early in the season with most of their main players injured, and yet they still are very competitive a half game out in the division? <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, I never seen something like this before in my life. You know, I mean, I played for 19 years with the New York Yankees. And, uh, yeah, we had some injuries, but I never saw something like this. They were almost the whole team. Mm -hmm got injury. But at the same time, uh, I seen the the youngsters step up and doing the job that they're doing. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, it, 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 it's, 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 it's great to see them play and enjoy the way they're doing and, you know, helping us win and keep us in the race. Because these games, you know, at the end, they will count. Now, now that they're doing it, you know, it's, it's, it's fabulous that they're stepping up. But at the same time, like I said, in, in October, September, late September, October, when they count, uh, we will be there. Mariano, so screen right over your left shoulder, there's a, a bird. Can you tell us about that? Right over your left <laughs> shoulder there? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I went to I went to Brazil in uh, 2014 to see the uh, the uh, World Cup there, and uh, I was in the airport, and I saw. I always trying to find stuff from the places that I go to identify with uh, their culture, and uh, I saw this bird, and I love it. You know, so I bought it. Well, we bury the lead because we should have began by congratulating you on not just being named to the Hall of Fame, but the first unanimous decision. And of course, everybody was in their right mind in, in doing that and making sure that you got every vote that you deserved. But I'm a former writer, so I got to ask you, are you already working on the speech? How are we doing? <laughs> yes, I am working. Matter of fact, I was working today at it. So, I mean, I had it little by little, but I'm working on it. And uh, uh, it's been amazing. You know, it's been an amazing journey. Uh, many years of shed a lot of tears and a lot of joy, a lot of laugh, but it is at the end everything came together. And I'm thankful to the Lord that allowed me to uh, to be one of the guys, you know, being uh, one of the guys that has been done something special in the game of baseball. And uh, you know, I cannot be more happier and thankful to the good Lord that that blessed me with a great blessing to be one of the guys. So I mean. It is amazing, and yes, I am working with that uh, speech. My honor, we can't thank you enough for your time. You are the greatest closer of all time. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great summer getting into the Hall of Fame, and uh, best of luck with the foundation.